okay now family this is our pumpkin peanut cake so hey everybody how y'all doing are you hey okay in your neck when we dry them up too cool now go too deep you know yeah yeah fair watch you know our troops see that apple cider vinegar and our troops Up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you a pumpkin how to do a pumpkin peanut cake. So, I have my little ingredients here corn oil, salt, baking powder, freshly squeezed orange juice, my dry. Uh, spices nutmeg cinnamon powder and mixed spice granulated sugar cake or pastry flour take note of that cake pastry flour or pastry flour shredded pumpkin freshly shredded pumpkin and some um peanut ear that i had grounded too it's the peanut with the um, with the red on it. So that's all we are rolling today. Did I say I have four eggs here? I don't think I did say that. So I'm gonna dump my sugar in my and it is white granulated sugar. So four eggs, white granulated sugar, and a three quarters of a cup of corn oil. I'm going to get that beaten on the low for about two minutes they're about until it's light i'll catch you in the next clip okay so so at this time you should have your oven 350 fahrenheit or 175 celsius so these are the eggs four eggs remember your granulated sugar and your oil of choice okay at this point i'm going to be putting in in small portions of this cake and pastry flour. I'm going to fold it in in about three to four different parts. So you know, I'm not going to use the mixer again. I just use it. But you could use the mixer and continue mixing. But I'm just going to be folding it in with the manual method after this. Which is the cut and folding. Yeah, which I've showed you so many times. So you want to do it each time until all your your flour dissolves remember pastry or cake flour this is the flour that we are using why to keep it on the light side I'm gonna put in some more and you know the drill when you simmer back everything will be thoroughly mixed in well mixed in now we're gonna add our baking powder or spices Okay, and we're going to finish fold and cutting them in. That's what we're going to be doing. Mm? Yeah. So if you're finishing by the fold and cutting as I did, you have to make sure you use some elbow grease by folding in all the dry ingredients properly as it becomes a little tight. Okay, because there is no additional liquid. Now I'm going to put in my pumpkin, shredded pumpkin. And you don't want to grate it, you don't want to shred it on the big side of the shredder grater or wherever. I'm going to also put in my peanuts. And you don't want to put the peanut them too fine. You want to have them like this. You see this? This is how you want it looking. And it is pretty tight at this point. So this is where you put in about a half of your orange juice. Yeah. And I'll be putting in about a tablespoon of vanilla okay so we are gonna go now continue with the cut and fold in method mm? so remember you know, if you're gonna use it and you could use continue using the whisk okay but i just want it to fold in so let us continue folding in and come return so you see the look you see the look so we are gonna fold in because the flour is down at the bottom there so we're gonna fold it in a little more until it gets all fluffy so this is it i'll fold it in you see the peanuts this is how you want it nutty 
nutty nutty nutty so you don't want to get the peanuts too too fine so let me position myself and we might have some leaf over we can put them in muffin tins or something okay remember we have to make way or save for rising so you might can get about two or three little muffins out of this so this is it and we are going to put it in for the first first 45 minutes at 350 then you lower your oven to 375 for one hour and about 15 to 20 minutes when that time has elapsed we'll return okay so we just took this from the oven don't mind the crack i think i left it unattended and we went a few minutes over so it's properly done so i'm gonna leave it in there wow he's shaking it up and he smell the peanut that fresh peanut don't don't go low on the peanut use the fresh peanut the raw peanut with the red on it it smells so beautiful you know my thing gonna leave it on the rack in the tin for another probably 15 minutes when it is you know really slightly cool down so you can get remove it put it out on the rack let it stay and then it will be properly cool down there catch you in the next clip okay now family this is our pumpkin peanut cake so it's prop it's not properly cool though so i don't know say right here so i mine. <laughs> let me show you the tin though when you when you bake and you think come out like this can tell the world say yeah baker yeah so this is how it looks not cooled you see look at this you see this do not use any other flour except pastry or cake flour yeah and the the the, the texture of the the the, the 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 mixture it will give you a crunchy top see what i'm doing now remember white granulated sugar pastry flour if you want to substitute the orange juice you will need to use like apple juice something clear something of that color lighter don't use other stuff you don't want to use anything too strong so this is it <clears throat> from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your palate and most of all to your stomach it is peanut pumpkin cake done just for you you can too in your kitchen these are trying times these are hard times learn to bake a loaf or two learn to bake a bread learn to, it's the, 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 the easter season Learn to bake your bun. So many bun recipes are there. I have a few there too. Go check them out. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. Remember to be you, do you. And most of all, love you. Learn to do some things in your kitchen. In these trying times, these times when cost of living are so high.